A Mother in Manville, a short story by Marjorie Kinnan Rawlings, a Pulitzer Prize-winning author, was first published in the Saturday Evening Post on December 12, 1936. It later appeared in two of Rawlings' short story anthologies, When the Whippoorwill in 1940 and Mountain Prelude in 1947. Known for her novel, The Yearling, Rawlings was a Southern writer who drew inspiration from real-life events for her fictional works. During her stay in the North Carolina mountains in 1936 for writing purposes, she formed a close bond with a 12-year-old boy named Dale Wills, much like the connection between the unnamed narrator and the character Jerry in the story. Set in an isolated orphanage on the vast grounds of North Carolina's mountains, the narrative follows a woman, the unnamed narrator, who rents a cabin to focus on her writing, seeking help with chopping wood for her heating needs. The next day, a small 12-year-old boy named Jerry appears on her porch. Doubting his strength and stamina for the task, the narrator is surprised when Jerry insists that size don't matter when it comes to chopping wood. As Jerry works, the narrator observes a rare quality of integrity within him, akin to the clarity, purity, and simplicity of a mountain stream. Jerry's integrity stands out as he takes responsibility when the axe he uses breaks and offers to pay for its repairs. However, the narrator refuses, insisting that it was not his fault and takes responsibility for the payment. Throughout the story, Rawlings explores themes such as rationalization and guilt, the different kinds of isolation, and the nature of integrity. Even after providing the narrator with all the firewood she needed, Jerry continues to visit her, and they develop a close camaraderie. He opens up about life at the orphanage, describing how they endure frostbite while carrying trays for the sick as some of the boys lack gloves. Jerry grows particularly fond of the narrator's pointer dog, Pat, and the narrator trusts him enough to take care of Pat when she leaves the cabin for a weekend. Upon her return, Jerry impresses her with his responsible care for the dog, even sharing his own breakfast when the food ran out. One evening, as they sit by the fire, Jerry shares that the narrator reminds him of his mother in Manville, who sends him Christmas presents and visits whenever possible. He plans to buy her gloves with the money earned from caring for Pat. Learning that Jerry's mother left him in an orphanage, the narrator becomes upset and decides to visit Jerry's mother to understand why she made that choice. However, as her time at the cabin comes to an end, the narrator refocuses on her responsibilities and artistic pursuits, convincing herself that Jerry is well taken care of and not lonely now that she knows he has a mother. She bids farewell to Jerry, acknowledging him as a good friend and expressing her feelings of missing him. Jerry remains silent, and on the day of the narrator's departure, he doesn't show up as she expected. When settling her bill at the orphanage, which owns the cottage she rented, she asks the bookkeeper, Miss Clark, about Jerry's whereabouts. Miss Clark expresses her concern for Jerry's health, noting that he didn't eat his dinner and neglected some of his responsibilities, which is unusual for him. The narrator is relieved to avoid an emotional goodbye but still wants to know about Jerry's mother. She plans to leave some money with Miss Clark to buy Jerry Christmas and birthday presents, wanting to avoid duplicating any gifts his mother might send. To her surprise, Miss Clark reveals that Jerry doesn't have a mother, and the claim about the roller skates his mother supposedly sent is untrue. I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, and be sure to subscribe thank you.